Am I the asshole for telling my mom her husband isn't my dad, and his family didn't replace mine just because my dad died? I, 17 male, have a pretty blended family. Mom had me with my dad. They broke up when I was a baby. My mom had my half-sister Macy, 15 female, with a guy named Aaron. They weren't really together from what I know but they shared custody of Macy her whole life just like my parents shared custody of me before dad died when I was five. When I was four my mom started dating her first husband, husband number one, and had my three other half-siblings Daniel, ten male, Lila, nine female, and Kenna, seven female. My mom and her first husband got divorced and two years ago she remarried. Her husband, husband number two, has three kids with his ex, Holden, 13 male, Lacey, 11 female, and Kyrie, 9 female. My half-siblings go to their dads every other week. My step-siblings go to their mom every other week. I'm the only kid who hasn't got my dad to go to. Because of this, my mom expected me and her husband to be super close and that I'd accept him as my new dad. Even after I didn't accept husband number one as my dad, she believed husband number two would be different. Not to me. Dad is still my only dad and I don't see husbands number one or number two as my parent. I have a close relationship with my extended family on dad's side. I have grandparents who live ten minutes from me. I have three aunts who live within thirty minutes of me. Two uncles who live less than an hour away. Twenty-four cousins who live within those distances of me lol. I have cousins of my dad who are close to us as well. There are times when my half-siblings are with their dads that I'll ask to be with someone in dad's family. Mom doesn't like that I do it but she does let me sometimes. But she really tries to push me to spend time with her husband or his family when my half-siblings are gone or if I'm the only kid in the house. Two weeks ago my half-siblings were all gone to their dad's houses. My step-siblings wanted to spend time with husband number two's family. Which makes sense since it's their family too. I asked mom to let me spend the day with my grandpa since he was doing something cool. Mom looked surprised and told me there was a whole party going on at her aisles and I should be there with my family. I told her I wanted to be which is why I was asking to be with grandpa. Mom told me I was being intentionally ignorant and that I knew she was talking about her aisles. We got into a fight and she said I never willingly spend time with her husband or his family and I never prioritize my family. I told her she never expects my half-siblings to and I shouldn't be treated differently because my dad died. I said her husband didn't become my dad and his family didn't become my family just because my dad died. I told her they don't mean more to me than they do to my half-siblings. Mom told me it's different. She said I shouldn't feel this way. I told her if it was up to me I'd never spend time with them. I'd spend time with my real family. She got angry with me for everything I said. Am I the asshole? That's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what the commenters have to say. First comment. Not the asshole. First off, if I'm reading this correctly your mom has had four men in significant enough relationships to either marry and or have kids within 17 years. This man is your family, by marriage only at this point and chances are better than average your mom will leave him too. That's just logical based on her history. Parents can't force family, she chose this man, not you. She made her choice to be with him. If your grandfather is a good honest man, that is the man you should be spending time with. OP response. 3. Technically. Macy's dad and mom didn't really have a relationship. The only reason I ever met him is because mom got pregnant. But they weren't together or anything. My dad's family are all good people. I love spending time with them. Especially my grandparents. I love being at their house. Next comment. Not the asshole. You're allowed to feel how you feel and maintain your connection with your dad's family. It's unfair for your mom to expect you to replace those relationships just because she remarried. Families are complicated, but your feelings are valid. Another comment. Not the asshole. Nobody gets to decide who you consider family. Some people have great step-parents and siblings they want to consider their true parents, while not wanting to call their blood relatives their family. Others never develop that, either is wrong. 
You are the one that decides what you want to call your family. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Final comment. It's funny how your mother likes to play the field, has had multiple husbands and baby daddies, but expects you to be able to fully commit your heart and trust to someone you didn't even choose to be in your life. Thank you for listening and watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I would love to read about what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day.